Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. In this one, we have some new bundles to go over. Wanted to talk about if they are worth your purchase or not. Now, the first one here is the Momoko Magic Bundle. This is one that a lot of people, myself included, have been pretty excited for. Ever since it got, first got data mined, we knew kind of the contents of what was inside, but we didn't know the price. And uh, a lot of people, myself included, uh, thought it was going to be kind of expensive because this art is really amazing. And uh, they also give you a fair bit of resources with it as well. So uh, I was thinking this was going to at least be 30, 40, maybe even more than that. Um, looking at some of the prices of the prior bundles. And uh, it's, it's not. It's actually a lot cheaper. It was only $20 US for this bundle. Uh, way, way less expensive than I thought. Now for some additional context here, if you were to go buy gold in Marvel Snap right now, spending $20 would get you 1,450 gold. So this is a very good value bundle. So what do you get inside it? You get 1,500 gold, 1,500 credits, the Momoko M Mystique variant and avatar, as well as 155 Mystique boosters. So that is enough resources to essentially fully upgrade your new variant, which is very nice. I hope they do more stuff like this in the future. I think it's great getting the amount of credits and boosters needed to max out and go for a split on a new variant you really like. And then the gold. So like if you're just going to buy $20 worth of gold, you get all this stuff as a bonus, plus an extra 50 gold. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, this one, really not too much to say about it other than this is one of probably the easiest buys I've seen in Marvel Snap and uh, definitely, I think, one of, if not the best, uh, aside from, I guess, the, the Welcome Bundle type thing and the uh, Lunar New Year one, uh, value for just spending money in the game. Uh, really, really good value if you like the art and you are looking to spend any money on the game outside of, I guess, the Battle Pass being generally the most value centric way to put money into the game uh this is a very easy buy and i would highly recommend it and then the other bundle we have here is the more magic bundle so if you're looking for a use for some of that gold you got out of the moco magic bundle uh there you go we have a use for it and this is a 900 uh gold bundle here and what you get inside is a mystery variant 700 collector's tokens, 65 random boosters, and 300 credits. Now, anytime you're you're approaching a uh, a good ratio on the credits to or the gold to collector's tokens, like we are here, uh, it's already looking pretty good. But we're also getting a cosmetic and 300 credits on top of it. So, if you're you know gunning for one of those big bad series five cards or you're just trying to get some more collector's tokens to fill out your collection, be it in Series 3, Series 4, etc. Uh, this seems like a really easy buy, especially for the players still in Series 3, that, you know, it takes a while for you to accumulate all these tokens naturally on the reward track. This feels like it will be a significant speed boost to getting some of the more expensive Pool 5 cards in the game that are really heavily sought after right now such as Thanos, Galactus, and the newly released Hang. So again, pretty, pretty big uh, home run here, and it's very convenient that, hey, this one costs gold. So if you've been saving up gold, or if you have some newly available gold from buying the other bundle, this is a very good place to spend it. So those are the two bundles. Honestly, uh, really good. Uh, you know, this is a lot better than a lot of the bundles we've seen in the past, and I think the really nice thing about these bundles is they feel more accessible to a larger part of the player base. People aren't really feeling like they're priced out of something they think is cool and would like to add to their collection. And I think it will really do the players and developers well to keep doing bundles like this that are kind of more widely available at a reasonable price point for solid value. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you think about these bundles in the comments below, and are there any characters you would like to see in a future upcoming bundle? But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.